Haiti to talk about uh, this technology. So uh, what happened here is like uh, to start on this uh, Spain uh, setup. Uh, he had he has the first he come up with a simple box, uh, a box that he has a spring uh, attached to it, a kind of like an empty box with a spring attached to it. And the spring at the upper end of the spring, he has a uh, uh, pistons uh, with a with a small opening. So it's kind of like a box that, like you know, is a is is a is a closed box that uh, with a, a, a just a very a small opening like at, at the top and uh, within like uh, the movable spring so the, the spring can compress but like you have like a piston right there supported like a piston over there supported by a spring and the water can only come out from the top of the of the pistons and the whole thing the whole thing will fill with water so this is the simple setup of uh, of a clay uh, uh, you know, a simple uh, laboratory setup to try to like uh, mimicking or simulate uh, a, a clay systems uh, under consolidations. So uh, uh, the water right there will be, uh, you know, simulating the uh, the pore water that try to escape the clay uh, matrix, and the spring right there is, is simulating the uh, the uh, the soil skeletons, which is the stiffness of the soil. So when you Press on like a press on a soil. The soil, like a skeleton, will try to resist like uh, the loading, and now it's just like uh, uh, represented represented by the spring. And the small opening right there. So there's an open opening over there. Is try to rep represent the permeability, the permeability of the of the clay. So we expect that because clay has a, a very low permeability. So uh, the the opening there is very small. So if you try to represent or try to like uh, simulate a sand so sand um, uh, a, a sand samples or gravel samples, the opening will be very large. But now it's clay, so the opening is very small. So the spring energy is about like uh, loading on the clay, which means the change of the effective stress of the, of the clay. So uh, for example, now you are loading uh, uh, the whole cell up by two kilograms, by that weight with a two kilogram. And at time equals zero, at time equals zero, it's just like uh, 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 the setup that you have a plug closing the uh, the opening, because at time equals zero, there's no time uh, for the pore water to come out. Again, the clay consolidations, the whole concept is about squeezing out the water. Is how fast and how much uh, uh, how much deformations you know uh, you occur. Because of the loss of the volume of the lost water, so that's that's the clay consolidations. But at the time spot of time equals zero, nothing happened yet because there's no time for the water to come out. And at that particular moment, at that particular moment of time equals zero, what it means is like all the loading is carried by the pore pressure by the water. So you have two kilogram right there. And like uh, you know, on, on the top of the box. So what what is supporting the two kilogram? Would that be the spring, which is the soft skeletons, or would that be water? And since water is incompressible relative to the clay uh, skeletons, so at the at the moment of time equals zero, all the loading go to the water. So that's why right there, uh, you, uh, there's a U right there. The U is the water pressure. So all the water, all the loading go to the water. So that's why you have a water pressure of two kilogram. But um, the the K soils mean the uh, the stiffness of the uh, of the soil skeleton. They are not feeling the, the loading at time equals zero. This water is relatively uh, incompressible. So all the loading now go to the water at time equals zero. But uh, for clay consolidations is um. It's a matter of how the water try to escape uh, from the clay skeletons. So when we like open the open the plug, just like we let the clay consolidation still happens. So once the water able to, to come out from your systems, which is the clay matrix, or uh, you know, for, uh, uh, simul simul simulating by this experimental setup, so the water start to able to come out slowly. So you'll become like a process that like uh, 
uh, are transferring, passing the loading from the water pressure to the clay uh, skeletons for the spring. So we start, you know, in the, in the observations of lab or uh, in the experiments, you will see that water comes out. And if you're able to uh, have a low gauge uh, uh, to measure the loading, you will see the water pressure start to go down, but the force in the spring start to catch up. So we kind of like passing the, the pressure of the loading from the water to the spring. And at some point, because the whole thing depends on how fast it can be happens, highly depends on the size of the uh, of the opening, which is the permeability of the of the soil. So if you wait long enough, if you if you have infinity of time to to wait for that, like you know, water to come out slowly. At the end of the day, all the loading from the water will already pass to the uh, the clay soil. So at infinity of time. Um, there will be no more like water pressure. The water able to squeeze out has already been squeezed out. And all the loading will, uh, uh, from the damage will be passed to the, the spring. So any questions at this point? Before I move on? Yeah, I think. Okay. Um, so uh, the, next, the next thing is, um, uh, another key concept is, Clay consolidations is not is is, is a three dimensions uh, kind of phenomenon, right? The displacements and time. So we talk about in the previous slides, displacement and time. But don't forget, there's a third dimensions right there. Is the loading. So uh, so this is still the same setup from uh, from the last one. So two kilogram loading there and waiting long enough or the water that can squeeze out from this loading has already been squeezed out. But what if we, we add additional loading on the systems? So at the moment that we add an extra loading uh, on top of the previous one, at the time that we place the loading time equals zero, there will be an, another extra two kilogram. And this extra two kilogram is uh, being filled by you know, being carried by the water pressure, so that's why like the water pressure now is has a two kilograms and the stiffness of the of the soils. Uh, yes, so here is two kilogram, but the uh, stiffness of the soils will be uh will be like from the uh, previous sitting. So the whole clay consolidations will repeat itself. So if you if you wait long enough. Oops, if we wait long enough, do this. So uh, we, if we open the plug again, the water will come out from the from the uh, uh, additional amount for loading. So uh, and, and if we wait like a long enough, all water can come out. So now all the loading is passed from the water to the spring again. So at the end of the day, the loading that we have on the water will become zero. But the loading on the soil, feeling uh, represented by the spring, will be the total weight to add on. Because you wait long enough, the water that able to squeeze out has already been squeezed out. So this is a low loading. And that makes is how much like a, uh, so just this part is the settlements, is the uh, clay consolidation settlements. So that is the analogy of a clay consolidation form of uh, calcosidity. 